Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, December 10th. It's the second week in Advent and week two in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 42, and Luke 22, verse 31 to 38. And now please join me in singing the second verse of Once He Came in Blessing. Still he comes within us, still his voice would win us. From the sins that hurt us, would to truth convert us. Not in torment hold us, but in love enfold us. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. As the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O oh God. Psalm 42, and please recite it with me. As the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. My soul thirsts for you, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before you? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul. For I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept holy day. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan and, from, and of the Hermonites from the hill of Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the noise of your water spouts. All your waves and your billows are gone over me. And yet you command your loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night your song shall be with me and my prayer to you, the God of my life. I will say, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning? Because of the oppression of the enemy? With a sword in my bones, my enemies mock me while they say to me, Where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise yet again the health of my countenance and my God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. As the deer longs for running water, so my soul longs after you, O God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 22, beginning at verse 31. Jesus said, Simon, Simon, listen. Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail, and you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. And he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you know me. He said to them, when I sent you out without a purse, bag, or sandals, did you lack anything? And they said, No, not a thing. And he said to them, But now the one who has a purse must take it, and likewise a bag. And the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless. And indeed, what is written about me is being fulfilled. They said, Lord, look. Here are two swords, and he replied, it is enough. Here ends the lesson.
Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We long for you, O God, and thirst for your presence. Shed your loving kindness upon us. Be our help all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.